EC and Trade Technical Webinar. Good morning, my name is Rob Clayton. Well, over the last few weeks, we've seen the Australian dollar play in a bullish bearish trend. And from the analysis I've been looking into, is that the bearish outside range day here back in July found a support of 7405.15. Now, the outside range day here follows on with two heavy bearish candles and now again finds support at 7405.15. It is regarded that caution should be taken towards this region. Reason being is the fact that we re rejected it once, we rejected it twice, and we could reject it again. In light of this, the intraday view is a range of 7405.15 up towards 7490 to 7505. Now, although I anticipate resistance to hold there, a clear break of 7505 would give further room and see a rise up towards a challenge of 756570, which is back to these highs here and this stab rejection. In terms of how the technicals are looking, it's possible that the intraday or the next 24 hours, the market should respect that 7490 to 7505 resistance. But as mentioned, a break would see a move up towards 756570. Now looking towards the downside is the fact that we could find support here that will hold. In the event we see a break of 74 cents, then this will give further exposure to the downside and look towards 73.50 with an objective of 71.5 to 72 cents around this region here. So keep in mind, what is to note is that the indicator is actually quite negative. So in a broader term, we could see a further weaker Aussie, but let's see how in the next few days these levels play out. The euro overnight again stabs at that resistance of 112.6080. And as you can see here, retreat quite sharply to settle around 112.40 in New York this morning. In light of how the price action is performing towards the top side, I still feel the market is looking towards that target of 111.90 and lower towards 111.45.50. Now from 111.45.50 beneath that level, exposes further weakness with a downside objective coming in towards 110.50.65 and lower towards the awaited challenge of 109.50.75. In the event we see demand come back into the market, a break above this level of 112.60.80 will again find the congestion area of 113.60.65 to probably cap the euro in the near term. So still hold bearish, and I'm still looking towards 111.45 and reassess from there. It's interesting to see how dollar yen quickly retreats from the resistance of 103.50.55 yesterday. However, still holding support, still holding on to its gains, the support holds at 102.05.10. Now, while this level holds at 102.510, I do expect to see further challenges towards the upside and break above 103.50 and look towards the recent highs of 104.10.25 with a view we could be moved going to 106. Now saying that, if we get a break under 102.05.10, then this would negate the upside view temporarily and see a move down towards 101.25 and reassess from there as beneath this level comes a target of 99.40.60. Sterling, interesting to see that it stabs towards that support overnight from the weakness of 131.30.35. Now from the re from rebounding off those off that low, now sees a resistance coming in at 132.80.90. I anticipate this level to hold. However, if we get a break, then further stops will trigger up a move to 133.60.80 and reassess from there. And see around this region here. However, although the technicals intraday are slightly bullish, and if we see, as I say, a break of that 80, 80 90 level on the top side, then of course momentum will kick in. But 
If we respect that level, a pullback could see a break of 131.80, reopen the downside to last night's low of 131.30.35, with the objectives holding towards 130.20.25. Well, gold took the time of consolidating overnight, holding in a range of uh, 13.12 to 13.25. With the technical still remaining in a bearish formation, I still look to see a move down and challenge that support region of 1300. Now, a break there would expose further weakness towards 12.50 and reassess from there because a $50 drop could come in quite sharply. So keep a, a close watch on that level. On the top side, resistance, as I mentioned, comes in around 113.25 and higher with 1,331 to 32 to possibly cap. And to wrap with oil, the market fell away even further last night and now closer towards that target of $43 a barrel, which could extend further. Reason behind that is the technicals are coming in quite firmly now and we could see them move down towards 41.70 as an objective. Any fresh advances on the day should lock in a resistance roughly around $45.5 to $46. Well, that wraps my intraday view and comes to the conclusion that a bullish US dollar still holds and see how the rest of the currency pairs play out in the next 12 to 24 hours. Thank you again for your attention and I hope you enjoy the day ahead.